Dafyomi Tractate Bava Basra, page 114b. Now, I, I recorded this earlier at the, at the bakery there, but um, apparently the cord wasn't on, so I have to do it again. So, whenever we have to do something again, maybe a good way of seeing it is that when the first uh, Luchos, the first tablets were given on Mount Sinai, they broke. They were broken. And the second one is the one that lasted. So maybe that's um, an idea for anything that you have to do over a second time. At any rate, we're on the top of the page. 114 beam in Yana Liniyana. From discussing the matter to discuss a different matter. Hachanami de Kamu Bahadar Yisavu. Vihilcha Sakabas de Dar Yosef, Vesada, Inyan Umechse. So too, according to Rabbah, um, one can explain that Yehuda was referring to a case where they arose and then they sat down again. Although no support for Yosef's opinion was adduced from Yehuda's ruling, the Gemara nevertheless states, and the Yalacha is in accordance with the opinion of Yosef, in the disputes concerning the division of a field, discussed above 12b, reneging while they are discussing the same matter discussed here, and a half of one's property discussed below on 143a. Ha'isha espina ha tula modi ha tana le reisha ha'ish es imo ve'ish es ishtoi. The Mishnah teaches that a woman bequeaths to her son, her husband, and her maternal uncles, but she does not inherit from them. The Gemara asks, why do I need this as well? But it is already taught in the former clause a man inherits from his mother and a man inherits from his wife. The Allah stated this clause seems to be the same as the other clause. Okay. Hakamash Malon, the Isha as Bena, Dumya the Isha as Bala, Ma Isha as Bala, Ain Habal Yoyresh as Ishtoi Bikavil, Ath Ishta as Bona, Bena, Ain Aben Yoyresh as Imo Bikavil, the Han Hila Achim Mina. The Gemara answer is this teaches us that the halakha of a woman who bequeaths to her son in a sim- in, is similar to that of a woman who bequeaths to her husband. Just as with regard to a woman who bequeaths to her husband, the husband does not inherit the property through his wife while he is in the grave. Meaning, if a husband predeceases, not predecesses, predeceases, his wife, he dies before his wife, then his relatives, such as children from another marriage, do not inherit the wife's property through him, but rather the wife's own relatives inherit her property. So too, the same halakha applies with regard to a woman who bequeaths to her son, that the son does not inherit property through his mother while he is in the grave, in order to bequeath to his paternal brothers. In both cases, the woman's own relatives inherit her property. Amar Yohanan Meshum Yehuda Ben Rabbi Shimon, the Valtoira, Avioresh Benoi, the Ishioresh Beno, Shene Mogma Tois, Makish Mate Haem, the Mate Av, Ma Mate Haav, Avioresh Benoi, Av Mate Haem, Isha Yoresh Beno. With regard to the halacha that a mother inherits from her son, the Gemara notes that Rabbi Yochanan says in the name of Rabbi Yehuda Ben Rabbi Shimon. By Torah law, a father inherits from his son, and a woman inherits from her son, if the father is no longer alive, as it is stated with regard to a woman receiving inheritance, and every daughter who possesses an inheritance from the tribes of the children of Israel, Numbers 36, 8. Since the plural term tribes includes both her father's tribe and her mother's tribe, the verse juxtaposes the tribe of the mother to the tribe of the father. In that, just as with regard to the father's tribe, a father inherits from his son, so too, with regard to the mother's tribe, a woman inherits from her son if his father, if the father is deceased.